Hey folks, little window here into the world of AI video creation. It's the early stages of the game, like wanting the modern internet, but you're at AOL chat rooms and dial-up connections. Nevertheless, the new technology is exciting and already able to produce incredibly realistic scenes based on text, images, even other videos. From fantasy scenes to dramatic events unfolding to simple scenes with nothing out of the ordinary, the game has certainly changed. I've seen that everyone has their own method. Here, we're just going to show you mine because it's super easy. I have no coding experience, and if I can do it, you can too. We'll start with Grok. Why? Because it's my favorite image maker, and it can pretty much make anything at near photorealistic quality. I told Grok to show me an image of a colossal tsunami engulfing the pyramids on the Giza Plateau. Not bad for 20 seconds of typing and waiting. So then we go to the AI image to video platform and my favorite is Kling. But they all basically have a similar interface. You put in the image and then you type something. A key thing I do is I tell them that the image is the first frame of the video. It lets them know you want them to animate it from there. You can also tell it to make it the last frame and come up to there, but it's not quite as good at that yet. I told it to pan left as the wave moves left, engulfing the pyramids. Let's see how it turned out. Kling 1.6 Pro set to 1080p. Is it perfect? No. Could you get it to pump out better in just a couple minutes? Yes, and you should. Bit of a Monet effect if you zoom in. It's disappointing, but that'll improve over time. Light reflection, excellent. Realistic water motion, about a B plus. After 45 seconds to make the image with Grok and get it over into Kling, the uploading of that image, typing a short description, and video processing, the entire thing took 10 minutes. 10 minutes to make this. It's only a couple of hairs below the graphics in the movie 2012, and it took 8 minutes and approximately $3 of my tokens to create. Do you understand what has happened? Game changer. Let's do another one. This time, I chose the Dolly Image Maker from OpenAI. It's pretty good, not free like Grok. I had it make a modified version of me as a hero, riding a horse in a cool environment. Golf clap for Dali on that one. But when I plugged it into Sora, OpenAI's video maker, with the simple command for him to be riding the horse, it's kind of all over the place. Got a mind of its own, making up activity I didn't command. Lightning was cool, though. I used the exact same command with the warrior riding the horse, but did not include the image. And the text only in Sora gave this. I'd say it's closer to the activity I wanted, but it appears to have lower realism quality. Lightning doesn't move in the background either. Tried a couple others. Luma Ray 2 is improving, but still not very realistic, and they do really struggle with lightning. Sometimes it goes well, and sometimes it doesn't. That was pretty cool, but 12 minutes kind of wasted there. It's a problem with these AI video creators. They don't understand when something they do doesn't make sense. Like my first try to describe the pyramid tsunami without an image. Learning curve moment right there. The first cool thing we made with AI video was Observer Bot, but when I tried to get Sora and Kling to have him walking around on the surface of the sun, let's just say this is the best they could come up with. Sometimes they will nail something impossible like Mantle heaving upward beneath the sea, and then all of a sudden, nope, no, we lost it. Apparently, Hong Kong is immune from AI tsunamis. They just turn around and go the other way. And when I told it to make the sun turn black like in the Bible, well, it was confused. Alas, cool things can be done. Text to video and image to video are pretty good tools now. And in about a year, watch out. Some things to remember. Text to video is hard unless you don't care about details and just want general concepts. Image to video is easier if you get a great starting image and instruct the video maker to animate from there. For image makers, they're all fantastic. We saw Grok and Dali's work here, but they're all good. Pick a free one. As for AI video, I've tried a few Kling and Sora more than others, and Kling is king for now. If you want me to do more of this stuff, showing you more of the details, just let me know. If you just want me to shut up and make cool disaster AI videos, I'll do that too. Otherwise, I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.